I was just driving past and I realised this is McDonald's, this is in Bristol, Cribs Causeway, and it's a popular location. And we have here some InstaVault chargers. Right, no problem with these at all. But when I arrived, there were four cars here. One's just pulling out, so there's only... We're down to one. However, what made me pull in here was that four cars were in here charging. And that really baffles me because beyond those trees are four Tesla superchargers open to all. And over there behind Magnet are another 10 Tesla superchargers open to all. For those of you who don't know, Instavolt charge 85 pence per kilowatt hour all the time, day and night, it's always the same. Whereas at this exact moment in time, behind those trees, Tesla superchargers are 22 pence per kilowatt hour if you're a member, 30 pence per kilowatt hour if you're not a member. So when we look at cars charging here, as I say, there were four when I arrived, there's only one left and they're just about going now. And I can understand sometimes that maybe it's just convenient. I'll go and have a coffee and plug in for 10, 15, 20 minutes. But this is a crazy price, absolutely crazy. And um, I personally would never do that. I would rather grab a coffee, take away, drive over there behind the trees, it's a hundred yards away, and sit in my car and have a coffee and pay 22 pence or 30 pence if I'm not a member. Um, the population baffles me at times, and I'm going to be doing a lot more on this, that people really do need to look at what is available. And instead of just pulling into the first nearest one, just start using a bit of common sense. Anyway, I'm going to go over to the Tesla one, make sure that one's working, make sure it's free. Okay, so I'm uh, literally 100 yards away from McDonald's, where the Instavolt chargers were. And there are vacancies here uh, for charging, and these are currently, let me just get the latest figure, they are here, and it is... Uh, before 10 o'clock it's 9.40 and so the rate here is 25 pence. I missed the really cheap one. The really cheap one was 22 pence and that was between midnight and 4 o'clock this morning. No way am I going to get up at 4 o'clock this morning but between 4 o'clock this morning and 10 o'clock um, I could pay, well I am here, paying 25 pence a kilowatt hour. 100 yards away there were people there paying 85 pence per kilowatt hour. Now, to me, that is three and a half times the price. Why do people do it? This is classed, let me check my, uh, my app, but this one is Lysander Road. So let me just check this one. Is this an open to all? This is how easy it is. Um, you select this and it gives you a list of all of the ones and here we go Bristol UK Lysander Road 150 kilowatt chargers that's the V2s here uh, and it says uh, one stall available at the moment there's a couple of cars which have finished charging they're not actually plugged in but that's beside the point and the price here at the moment for non-Tesla cars for non-Tesla members this is anyone can just pull in off the street and plug in is 34p up until 10 o'clock 34 pence a kilowatt hour the Instavolts are 85 pence per kilowatt hour and uh, probably slower chargers as well. They're probably 100, 120 kilowatt units, whereas these are 150 kilowatts. As a member, 
And again, there's a car leaving now. Cars come and go all the time. Tesla cars do not spend an awful long time charging. And that's because they do preconditioning, mine preconditioned on the way here, uh, and we do have a faster charging experience. However, uh, if you joined as a member, if you are regularly charging here, uh, the price at the moment is the same 25 pence that I am paying. As a Tesla owner, I automatically get free Tesla membership. So we have the same membership. I just get it free with the car. They get it because they have to pay monthly for it. That's the only difference. When you come up to peak time, there's a bit of a difference. This one, as a non-member, peak time is a grand total of 54 pence per kilowatt hour. Now, to us Tesla drivers, that's a crazy silly price. We just don't pay that sort of money. Uh, so as a Tesla owner or as a member of the Tesla uh, charging club, um, that reduces peak time to 40 pence. So once again, these charges here are 40 pence to members, 54 pence to non-members, while the Instavolts 100 yards away are 85 pence all year round, day, night, peak, off peak, the whole lot. So, what's this showing and why am I doing this? Well, the simple fact is that there were people charging over there, paying 85p, who could have driven 100 yards, plugged in here, and they would have been paying, at this time of day, 34p. Why not do that? If you're wanting to charge, let's say, 50 kilowatts, over there you're going to be paying £47.50 uh, for a 50 kilowatt charge. Over here, as a non-member, you're going to be paying uh, £17. It's crazy money. It's crazy difference. Um, you, you know, you could go over to McDonald's, you could get your meal, happy meal, whatever it is, get your meal, get your coffee, come over here, sit here, eat your meal, eat your, uh, drink your coffee, and you would still be 20 quid in, in profit. I can't understand why some people complain about EV charging prices. One other thing that is of interest here, uh, and this is just to pass on uh, the situation, um, here in Bristol uh, there are three chargers uh, in Bristol which are open to all cars. Uh, most of them have V4s or V3s, this is one that has a V2 as the V2s. But in Bristol, it's not a huge city, maybe what, 10, 10 12 miles across from one side to the other. Um, but here you have a choice of three open to all Tesla superchargers with prices for non-members down as little as 30 pence. Now, I, I really am speechless that someone would go to a place 100 yards away and, and charge. Um, I, I really do find it uh, difficult to express what I'm feeling. It is weird that people just won't take a few minutes to have a look around and get the best charging for them. I see it in the comments, oh the pricing is ridiculous, Instable 85p, but yeah, have they looked around? Have they done what I've done? Download the free app for Tesla, have a look, just put it in, uh, and it lists all the chargers which are open to all within uh, within range of you, uh, and it gives you the prices as well. It's a no-brainer. Anyway, that's my little rant over. I'm going to be charging here for a few more minutes. I'll stop when it gets to 10 o'clock. I'm not going to be paying, what is it, 30, 34p here. So at peak time, this goes up to 40 pence. It's 25 at the moment. It's 40 at peak time. It's expensive to me. I don't need to charge here at this time to this level uh, because the rate drops again uh, after five o'clock. So if I don't need all this charge during the day, I'll top up now. I'll, I'll top up to ten o'clock, whatever time, whatever I get within that, and then later on this afternoon I'm going to be heading back north. So I'll do a charge before I go, and if I charge after five o'clock, uh, that is going to be down to thirty-two p. Uh, it's all little savings, but uh, all makes a difference. However, on the way there are other chargers that are cheaper. And this is one of the things about Tesla, is that each charger it has its own pricing structure. 
this one might be slightly different to one just half a mile away and usually is different to one that is uh, a few miles away. So let me just uh, illustrate that to you now. All I'm going to do is let's just go on to, here we go. Um, so this is Frankly uh, Services and uh, what's oh, even worse that one's 55 pence uh, per kilowatt hour peak time and that is not open to all that is exclusive to Teslas. Thanks very much for watching.